Enchanted Shadows is the title of our upcoming album to be released on April 24 of this year, 2024. This is very exciting for many reasons, obviously it's a new release, partially because it's our biggest adventure as an independent band uh, so far. We've always been a very do-it-yourself and artisan band. I take care of all the graphics, artworks, posters, flyers, the website. Um, we pack all the orders trying to make it look nice. We handle the booking. Um, we edit our own videos, the lyric videos, um, you know, all those things. And we've been recording the album on our rehearsal room and our houses, and Cedric has been able to do an amazing job producing uh, this piece to have an amazing sound. Honestly, we couldn't be happier. The thing is that, if we think about it, most underground bands are taking care of all the things and many others that I'm forgetting, because the list is long. The passion and love for this music and for what this band represents is too much. Despite all the hard work, we are not getting rich by any means. Many people have been surprised when they found out um, the decision, mostly people within the industry. Some even making comments in the line of, but why? What a loss of time and always oh, too much work, treating us like we were crazy because we wanted to release independent. Yeah, maybe we are crazy, who knows? Maybe we are just adventurers, but why not? On the other hand, there's been amazing people with lots of experience and very much relevant on the ecosystem that has offered great advice and we are very grateful and humbled about that. Thank you so much. Of course, we would rather be busy with just writing music, and performing and filming videos and, you know, playing live. That's what we want to do. That's our dream and that's our goal, but it's not possible. So, <laughs> because we have to do so many things already, why not? Let's just add more things to the list. In our own terms, that's the thing. In our own terms and however we like it and whenever we like it, that's it. There's many things yet to be learned and there is going to be many mistakes along the way, but that's how we learn and improve for the future. Nobody knows everything when they're born. There's many great labels out there, but there's also many awful ones that dare to call themselves labels, but they are just greedy leeches that doesn't even care about the bands. They don't even like what they are releasing and they do it only for their own ego. We are not collectible stickers. And there's a huge number of others who put money into a few physical releases, give a silly amount to the bands, and then let the rest grab dust forever without lifting a finger for yet unknown reasons. Again, there's many awesome labels with amazing people behind that look out for the interest of musicians and bands and offer the best they can. Some big ones, some more underground, some tiny and humble, but with great hearts and minds into what they do. And for those, we are grateful because we can enjoy many amazing releases and bands that we love. And we cheer and celebrate, obviously, the hard work and passion put there. But so far, of all the options that we have encountered, this seemed to be the best decision for us. There was much fear and it's an adventure in many ways, especially in the economical aspect. We were called Cramp, now we are called Bronze, and there's many people that doesn't know or they don't understand that it's the same band. So they call this one our debut instead of our second album which is it. And somehow, sometimes it's beneficial because it's like, oh, brand new band, and sometimes it's not as good because they are very in part of our career. As a nod to this, I decided to put the symbolic name of Valkyrie's record and this logo that keeps the spirit of the one that we used to have when we were called Cramp. Due to this and many other risk factors, we were shitting our pants because we didn't know how people would react or respond, and it could be a huge, huge loss of money. But again, we love music, we love what we do, and we do it with everything that we have. So far, the response has been amazing, thank you so much, and the support that we have received has calmed fears and anxieties. We have recovered a decent amount of money uh, put into this, and it's way far from all the amount, but at least we can breathe in peace for now. For In Chains and Shadows, we decided to go with digital distribution in all platforms, Prioritizing Bandcamp because it goes directly to the band. Uh, it's also available on Spot or it will be available on Spotify, Amazon Music, Deezer, iTunes, many others, all of them. I clicked all of them. And for physical edition, it's 
available, it's going to be available on CD and vinyl in three colors. 300 copies for black vinyl, 100 for blue vinyl, and 100 for gold vinyl. Besides this, I've been designing a good bunch of t-shirts. We have the classic one, full color of the artwork in Chains and Shadows, and we also have some themed ones for songs, like um, Time Covers No Lies, Samurai, Tyrant Spell, and one that was already available, Realm of the Dem. All of them based uh, in illustrations that uh, I did and I included on the booklet and insert of physical editions and you will get to see very soon. The pre-orders are already open on our website as we can offer more shipping options there, especially within Europe, like registered shipping and dropping uh, point, more flexibility and of course on Bandcamp, which seems to be your favorite platform is there and if you pre-order that you get immediate access to two digital songs that you can listen already uh, so yeah that's it